Hey guys, Lex over here. Welcome to Lethus Path of Progress. Lethus is a game uh, just released on Steam, costing about twenty dollars, made by the developer Trisco Interactive. Um, basically, in Lethus, it's kind of like one of those old school city builder games. If you ever played games such as Caesar, Pharaoh, Emperor, you know all those classic games. Um, released by Sierra back in maybe like 10, 15 years ago, then you'll understand exactly what Lethus is. Um, the only difference is Lethus is in kind of an Age of Steam, um, French-ish time period. So with that said, let's get started. As you can see, the game has a tutorial which I already played, um, pretty much up to the completion, just so, you know, I have an idea what the game is about. And there's also a sandbox mode for, you know, if you just want to build your city. But for us, uh, for this let's play, we're gonna play a campaign. We're gonna raise the difficulty too hard because I just like getting owned as usual. And our objective, as you can see, is I have to have 1,500 workers in level 10 housing. Uh, level 10 housing is gonna require quite a bit of different um, foods or luxuries that I have to provide to my citizens. And they also send 4,000 units of meat as tribute to the emperor. And the description is food for the emperor. All right. Um, so here's the story right here. Mr. Ellington, what a pleasure to meet you. How are you? I have excellent news. As you might have heard, Professor Allstrom's adventures are sensational, condensed steam as a source of energy. Yet, this also may lead to a rural exodus. Big cities are going to pop up just as fey mushrooms. A focus on agriculture and steady food supply will become important issues. It's your task to tackle these problems. All eyes are on you. Succeed and the Empire will reward you portly. Archibald, Archibald Ellington is one of the best urbanists in all of Lethus and risks his career with his task. He has to swiftly build a city with a strong focus on agriculture in the high provinces to prevent a local famine. Wilhelm the, Wilhelm the Fourth, Emperor of Lethus, chose Fedheim for this task, a large fertile area south of the Empire's capital city, Sterenhall. There are no geysers to be found in this area, yet you can provide your workers with copper via trade. And, yep. Alright, so that's it. Let's get started with our first mission. Alright guys, so this is our... This is gonna be the map that we play on. And it's a pretty nice area. There's lots of nice fertile land. This brown land is what's classified as fertile land. And this is what we're gonna be using um, to produce, you know, a lot of wheat. Because we're gonna need a lot of wheat and then we're gonna need a lot of meat to feed all of our people. And here's the little hole where people are gonna come from. So that's it, let's get started with our tavern. Obviously gonna need to build a few roads. If we don't have roads then, I mean, that would be kinda silly, right? Then we're gonna build a bunch of houses. Some houses like this. Actually, my bad, I, I want a few like decorations behind as well. Um, because that's gonna be important for the quality to get these places to upgrade. Otherwise, it's gonna be... Otherwise, everyone's gonna be living in the slums and we don't really want that to happen. Alright, I think this is good enough. And then... Alright, like this. So houses like here. And then we'll save two spaces in between to, um, to use to make people happy and stuff. And then we're going to close this off with roads. All right, perfect. Then put some more houses like this. And I think this should be all right. We're gonna put roadblocks so when we build services, which I'll explain later, people, um, there'll be service providers that walk around distributing resources. And we don't want them walking off in to the middle of nowhere because that would just lower our efficiency. And that means we'll need more of them to do the same things, which we don't want happening. First thing we need to do is build a maintenance building. Um, all these buildings, there's a small chance they'll collapse if they don't have someone coming by to inspect them, which would be very bad for obvious reasons. Here, we're gonna plop down a little maintenance building, and then we're going to... First thing we're gonna do is build a water well. Distribute water to all these people, otherwise they're also gonna be very unhappy if they don't have water. Perfect, all right. So now we can um, unpause the gate. As you can see, people are gonna start moving in. All of them the same type. Take a look at them. The female person, the 
Because that's also a female person. Looks like a guy. Okay, never mind. Never mind. You're very wom womanly. I'm sorry about that. Here's a male. And as you can see, there's some flavor images there. Um, just the act of the game. But before we just w before we unpause the game, we also want to you know get started on working on other stuff. We need to build some farms because that's gonna be pretty important. We're gonna need to grow some food. Otherwise, we're going to be otherwise it's gonna be a long ass winter. But luckily, people can starve in this game and. Nothing's there's not gonna be any major consequences. They're gonna be kind of upset at you, which I don't really want that to happen either. But it's all right. Oh yeah, another service we'll need right at the start is a well, probably nothing until just water and food. Water and food's good enough for you, for you guys. Actually, I also need to build a town hall as well. Town hall allows me to see a bunch of oops. Oh yeah, I also need to build a granary to store my food, otherwise, um, otherwise it's just gonna go nowhere, which would have suck. And I also need the shop to sell the food. Let's plop the shop right here. Alright, where's my granary? Warehouse, granary, there we go. I'm gonna put it a little further away from, from people's houses so they don't get upset. And we're also gonna need a maintenance, um, here to repair a granary. Now the good thing about um, farms is they don't need any maintenance, but this granary does. So that's why I'm just gonna plop, plop, it, plop its own maintenance building right here. And eventually we're going to, you know, get bread, get meat, and everything. But for now we're just gonna get wheat. Everyone's just gonna eat raw wheat, and they're gonna have to live with it. Can you eat raw wheat? Okay, just kidding. You can't eat raw wheat. Um, all right, we're gonna need bread, or we could just go straight to meat. Uh, which isn't bad either. I consider doing that. All right. Oh yeah. Let me put these roadblocks. So our maintenance man doesn't just start wandering off everywhere. Once we have um, at least one, I put one more wheat. One load of wheat in all of these places. Then I'm just going to. Uh, Build, build some meat plate, meat packing places, some ranches to feed the wheat to the cows and get some beef off them. Beef I can feed to my people. I can also change um, the wheat into flour, which I can then change into bread. We'll have to do all of that later if we want to upgrade our houses all the way, but for now this is alright. And in the future we'll also need multiple districts. But like I said, for now this is alright. And we might be able to sneak in maybe a few more houses. I was looking at how far these... How far these services travel? I think I can give maybe maybe a little bit more and still be okay. Since we're still learning right now, why don't we just find out if that's possible? Or if people or of our um, workers and stuff are gonna be upset. Let's let's just see. Nope, I can still cover every, everything decently, all right, which is. Good enough for me. Alright, perfect. This is gonna be our residential district for the time being. We're gonna plop as many houses as we can just so we can uh, have as many workers as we can. Alright, perfect. Eventually, these will be workers that would love to be taxed. In fact, I just put a tax cutting right now. Give me your money. Yeah, see, I don't know who you are, but as long as you give me your money, life's all good. And obviously, money's important. And I don't think I actually finished one entire um, growth period, so I didn't actually get any wheat yet, but that's alright. Eventually, get some wheat. But we might have to wait until the, until the next month, sadly. For now, okay, we are growing again. Good. Now, give me my food, because I need food. I need a ranch later as well, once it comes harvest time. Not much to do right now, we're just um, waiting for food to come. Basically is all I can say. 
Eventually, we might build another district further out. Give me food. All right, or maybe just building a windmill and producing bread is a more efficient use. I actually don't know which one's better. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll just eat bread first, rather than and then um, other stuff. And for that, I'm gonna need a warehouse as well. You store, you know, the flour as it gets. Did I leave a space? No, I didn't. It's just, it's just the graphics. Yeah, anyway, let's build a warehouse. Where is that? There we go. Store our flour once it's made. And does this store bread as well? I'm not 100% sure. I know it stores the flour. Oh, I think the granary actually stores the bread, right? Yeah, it does. Alright, that's fine. So maybe I could have made this a little bit more efficient, but it's efficient enough that I'm not going to cry over it. And now, we're going to be harvesting all, all of our wheat, and hopefully we have a lot of wheat. Or is going to be sad? Yes, we have a lot of wheat. I know. Okay, okay. Before I do that, maybe I don't want to plop this right here. Maybe I can make it a bit more efficient. Okay, yes, I would be wasting a little money, but... It's cheap enough. Okay. Right. I just because I don't want to build this way. I can't really use the road on this side that well because I intend to build houses there eventually. I'd rather build like vertically like this. And stay away from my residential area right here. Hey, where's my bakery? Come on. Bakery, where are you? You're not a bakery. There we go. You're a bakery. All right, and then of course you're gonna need some roads. There we go. And for now, I think I'll blow up these roads then, just so my maintenance person doesn't walk the wrong way. All right, perfect. I'll we'll just cook up some bread for now, and later on we'll get some ranch. Or not some ranch, we'll get some uh, meat, which will eventually be built from the ranch, or grown from the ranch, you don't build cows. So that would be an interesting prospect. Alright. Uh, probably could have two bakeries for each wheat, but whatever. Or uh, two bakeries for each windmill because 200 wheat makes 400 flour and then 200 flour meets 200 bread so maybe this is a little inefficient. I'll just build two bakeries then. I'm just gonna have a lot of food to feed everyone. Maybe I'll start uh, thinking about my center of trade. Alright, let's see what people sell and buy. Maybe I can make some good deals. Let's see, the capital, I can buy weird stuff. Okay, I just want to see what I can export. I can export, yeah, I can export alcohol here, and that's going to be important later. So maybe I should start growing uh, alcohol and then exporting that. Okay, let's build some roads here. We're going to want a separate district for our alcohol producing business. Make that maybe. Right here. I want to sell alcohol to those people. It's going to be kind of important for me. I might need another maintenance place as well. We'll do that after I build another granary. The granary here. And you're only going to accept alcohol. Refuse and then accept barley. Perfect. And we're going to empty the bread from here. We don't want bread in this place. That's not your job. Bread gets stored in there. You're gonna store alcohol and stuff. 
So have two Abbeys here. Make our alcohol. And we're gonna need a new maintenance slice as well. Pretty sure. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it is efficient enough. No, well, this one's kind of on the edge. Alright, I'm gonna risk it. If it blows up then it blows up. I just replace it. Because buildings are easy to replace, even the people inside, who cares, right? Alright, Abby's. Everyone is perfect and happy. Great. Exactly what I want to see from my town. You guys need more food. What happened to the bread? It's still stocking bread. Hurry up and upgrade. Oh, it's not pretty enough. Okay, let's get our decorations out now. So, like a giant fountain right here. Two giant fountains. You guys can hurry up and start upgrading. And then, why don't I... Um... All right, let's just put that there, and then we'll make some nice shiny flower gardens. Perfect. And then I want to stick in there a fountain in the middle. Okay, you guys very like you know where you're living now, and start upgrading. Otherwise, I'm gonna be pretty damn upset if you don't upgrade. Maybe I just need more bread. Pretty sure I'm making enough bread. Yeah, I'm not making enough bread yet, but eventually I have enough bread. I already have been produced bread. Okay, it's probably just taking time. There's just not enough workers to. to. Stock this shop. That's probably part of the problem. Yeah, okay, probably because you know all of our people are working in these buildings. Okay, let's try to get some more workers. Let's get let's get some like slum workers for now. We can blow up their buildings later. So we can get a few more residents. And once I get a city hall, I'll be able to specify where people actually work. Wait, is, is that enough? Better be enough. <laughs> okay, oh. Okay, so yeah, well, that's alright. I don't need this Abbey right now. That's fine. It, it's just occupying workers anyways, so. Who cares? Okay, now I have enough for the shop, so I should start upgrading now. And now I need access to a wash house. Let's build that. Alright, so now I'm gonna have to uh, blow up a few buildings for that wash house. Like, maybe, maybe just right here. Let's blow up this house. I'm gonna do some um, eminent domain. All right, guys. There we go. Now they should upgrade as well. Perfect. Awesome. And now, upgrading quite a bit. Now I need now I need some alcohol. That's gonna be the next step. I probably actually have to rebuild the building I just blew up. All right, let's get in there, Abby. Right here, and then... Oh, okay, let's just build in there a maintenance building then. Otherwise, life is gonna be very, very sad. Administration, maintenance. I'll just stick it right here. All right, perfect. And then I also need a center for trade, so get rid of these slum houses now. Well, we'll build that later once I get some more alcohol. Once I find out how much alcohol we are producing and how much we need. Right, let's get some more uh, barley fields. Perfect. Then I'll be able to see 
how much alcohol I produce and then how much I can sell later on because we'll definitely eventually need to start making money right now we're not making much money we also need to upgrade oh we also need an exorcist because this house is haunted by phantoms and that's another service I have to provide now now that I'm at a certain level of development okay where there we go I see it the exorcist house yeah, someone's house is gonna go boom. And get replaced by an exorcist tent. Yeah, right. Alright, so now my houses aren't devolving anymore, which is good. I need access to a theater. And alcohol still. Alright. Um, the theater. Where am I gonna stick this theater? Probably have to blow up some more houses. Maybe right here. Theater, theater, theater. Alright, perfect. Perfect place for a theater. And then I'll um, add some more like trees or whatever. Back here. Add a forest. That should be enough for these guys to upgrade once uh, the theater passes by, which is this. And now I need the utensil shop, so now I actually need to um, import stuff from other places. Import and also build a city hall so I can... Alright, let's blow up these little slum houses now. I just needed their workers. You guys, you guys are kicked out of the city for good. So, town hall. I can... Get some more access on, or get some more information on what's going on in my city. Oh, the town hall also improves um, quality of the land. I didn't know that. So maybe I should have built this somewhere else. That I'm a little late for that. Whoops. Oh well. Oh well, we'll figure that out in the future. I'll probably build like another district here anyway, so it's, it's not going to matter in the long run. Um, let's see, how much alcohol are we making? We're making enough alcohol? Maybe, maybe we're making enough alcohol now that I can probably get in their abbey. Why can't I build this here? Oh, I need some roads. Okay. Do that. I also need to blow up, maybe. Oh, here's some like blocks where I can't actually move through. That's a little bit annoying. Okay, then maybe I'll build like an abbey here. Then I also need my uh, my trade center. We also need to open some trade routes other people you can also sell like basic um, basic goods like wheat and meat which I'll probably want to do oh right, let's open these roads up all right perfect so we can sell our wheat if we wanted to if we have enough I think we're making plenty of wheat so we can export our wheat and they want they can take up to 2400 wheat which is quite a bit um, Alright, so we'll place an order to export some wheat and export some um, alcohol. And then we'll get some more wheat farmers then, if that's the case. Alright, let's build another road here. And then maybe we want a dedicated um, bread storage area then. So maybe I want to store this wheat somewhere else. Hmm. Well, I don't store that much bread, so I think it's all right. We'll just leave a little bit of room for the bread. And I think we should be A-OK -okay to feed our wood. Okay, let's also upgrade this area right here. Make it a bit more pretty for everyone. So you guys can stop complaining. This house right there is going to be stuck, I think. 
I just doesn't have access to a theater because it's like on the end of the pathway. So I guess it's like the maximum size per district I can do. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten, ten houses, and I guess eleven if you count this corner house. And that, that's probably about the max for uh, Prophet of Vain. Sandals and mines are producing more copper. Usually, import for the site to export a higher amount, but you may now import more copper from Staren Hall. All right. Eventually, we'll need to do that. But first, we need to make some money. Otherwise, we're going to go broke, which is very, very bad. We don't want to go broke. We need to make some more. Oh, yeah, we need to make some more um, alcohol first. Let's do that. And I think we have enough workers right now. We have pretty hot unemployment, so we should be able to... Uh, what's it called? Food, Abby. Produce a lot of alcohol. Hmm, I kind of want to move these farms now. I didn't plan them exactly perfectly. It's a shame. Alright, I could... No, well, this is where I'm going to build another district, I think, in the future. Yeah, I'll probably build another district here. Though I don't think I could blow up these trees, so it might not matter. Yeah, okay, never mind. Um... Okay, why don't we wait for all this stuff to get plant first, and then I'll uh, get rid of it. Get rid of these farms and rebuild them. Alright. Just like a stick in there, I set Abby's here. Alright, perfect. Build some hops, more hops farms, barley farms, whatever you call them. I have a little room here to stick some roads if I want to. So I have um, seven barley farms and four abbeys. I think that should be alright. Maybe we can export this alcohol too. What's this resource? We'll figure it out later when I, when I need it. And once our abbeys start working, we should be able to make quite a bunch of beer and we'll be very very happy once a bunch of beer starts getting made and it'll automatically be sold later on your citizens become more content that's great maybe we can see if they're where they are if they're uh, content or anything building level 10 I guess that's the maximum level or something one preceptor is who cover 20 out of 84 inhabitants. 42 inhabitants paid the tax for last season. Any more tax collectors? Balance. Well, most of the balance was in, was in construction, so... Makes a perfect amount of sense. And my income actually pays up for the expenses. Are people not being taxed because... Will soon pay their taxes. Alright, so... Um, they are being met by a, a tax collector. That's all I care about. And we're finally starting to export some stuff. That's good. Probably export more wheat then. Alright, let's export as much wheat as I can. Ma the maximum amount. See how well that works. And we, we should have enough um, beer to, for our personal use as well. Let's increase this to 1,200 per year. We should still have extra. Maybe we'll have way more than enough. We have a lot of bread stocking up as well, so uh, we obviously have enough wheat. So that means eventually we'll want to start getting some meat and other stuff. Demands a thousand units of sil silk to be delivered within 360 days. Uh oh. Alright, so there is a mission, a thousand units of silk. This silk? Can't tell. Here's a silk manufacturer. I forgot what it takes. Let's, let's take a look. Oh, it also takes hemp to make, uh... 
Alright, that's right. It takes hemp to make, uh... Let's see, uh, silk. Which is what the tailor does. The tailor makes clothes. Okay, so he just wants silk. Alright. He wants just build silk then. And look at our nice, big, juicy silkworms right here. We just want a thousand silk. Okay, we're definitely making enough alcohol and definitely making enough hemp to uh, sell all of our alcohol. All trade routes that hassle port are closed. I don't know what that means, but that's probably not a good thing for us. So can we just export the maximum of alcohol each year? Might need one more Abby to do that. We definitely have enough hemp. But I just want to stabilize my money situation so I can... Then I have a lot more room to do uh, whatever the hell I want, which is pretty damn important. So I guess I'll stick one more Abby right here. I should have enough hemp farms. I need one more. You know, just in case. Alright, I'll just build one more hemp farm. Just in case I need, because I am, you know, building a little some silk as well. Silk, and then once I get a thousand units, I can just turn it off. And where do I deliver this? On the throne, likes you. Okay, perfect. Workers, salary, average salaries. All right. Alright, everything's going perfectly right now. Co commercial balance, you export more than you import. That's fine with me. Exactly what I want happening right now. Alright, so I do need more hemp, but uh, that's alright. Getting there. 700 silk. Need more barley. Uh oh, what building was that? Oh, my center of trade. That's not good. What's I need in there? Maintenance right here that. Alright, I'll put stick in there maintenance because that's kind of embarrassing. Okay, yeah. But it doesn't really affect our tolls or anything right here, so everything's A-OK. -okay. We got enough wheat storage and everything. <coughs> Excuse me. So next we'll probably want to start making some meat then. Am I not gonna have enough silk fast enough? Oh, maybe that barley shortage cost me. Whoops. I'm sorry, don't hate me. My reputation has been damaged. He hates me! Just because I didn't give him any silk. I'm sorry. That's kind of harsh. Oh, I wonder if I can, like, buy something from somewhere else and then sell it somewhere else let's see this place sells silk okay, let's just take a look because sometimes you can make a nice uh, inside trade deal and then life becomes very very nice uh, but I think this time there isn't ah, this place buys bread I'll sell some bread to them so I'm making plenty of excess bread. You see what well, a lot of bread as well. Alright, so that means I probably want some more um I don't want to accept any any of this crap here. Okay, well, now I guess I'll just turn you off because that was just for the mission. That kind of sucks. Oh, well. But I think my trade balance for alcohol is perfectly fine. I'm selling all of them and then I'm not running out of alcohol here, so I think I'm okay. Yeah, I still have some extra alcohol, so that's perfectly fine. We're also making a lot of bread. 
Maybe I want to make a little bit more bread. Stick this right here and let's build two more bakeries. So I can sell more bread. We're gonna sell as much bread as we can. 2,000 for now. Yeah, right, as you can see, right, these little balloons are going away and selling my stuff and I'm gaining money, which is very, very good for me because obviously I need a lot of money. All right, utensils, yeah, we'll get there. We'll, we'll start building utensils later because I need that for, uh... Okay, he wants more silk. Okay, okay. All right, let's get you more silk. Stop whining. Get all the silk that you, you want. Actually, probably want another silk shop and then, if that's the case. Or I could buy some silk. Stop hating me. Perfect. And now our income's actually rising pretty, pretty damn quickly. That means we, it might be time to start working on importing some copper. From here and then building utensils. All right, let's get road right here, and then maybe I'll need another warehouse. This, this is a granary. Right, let's refuse copper here and accept copper somewhere around here. Storage, warehouse. Alright, perfect. And do I need more maintenance? Yeah, it looks like I will. And then we'll build two copper refineries right here. Or hardware stores to produce our um, utensils. We need to import, um, let's import 800 units for now. I think that should be enough. And we only want to accept, accept copper and accept utensils here. This is going to be for our personal consumption. All right, we're definitely making a ridiculous amount of alcohol. Maybe, maybe too much alcohol, whatever. We still have some room to sell for this year. We all need this many abbeys then, I can... Yeah, I'll turn one off. We'll see. How much silk do we have? Oh man, okay, I need to um, import a little bit more silk then. Alright, someone's gonna be all angry at me. Hopefully that silk comes very, very fast. Hurry up and give me my silk. Where's that balloon? I thought I had maintenance here. Okay, uh, maybe this maintenance guy is going the wrong way. Cause it's kind of like a forking road right there. I'm just gonna, I'm just lazy. I'm just gonna put a new maintenance right here. Give me some time. Please don't hate me anymore. Do they have enough silk yet? Oh my god, I need a hundred more units. Hurry up, give me my silk. It's gonna be so sad. Okay, okay, I can produce some silk. Do that, otherwise I'm gonna cry. Oh, okay, now comes my silk after I just manufactured some. Okay. Where's the emperor? Okay, now. You stop, have you stopped hating me yet? Give you your stupid ass silk. Better stop hating me. 
Yeah, okay, um... Okay, we're making way too much wheat and bread. Let's export the maximum uh, bread that I can, so just 3,200 units. And now we can, I guess we should start uh, working on some ranches for meat. Where am I gonna stick that area? Hmm. I feel like right here, I'll just build some ranches. And I have to go to this granary here, it's kind of far away. And my wheat is over here, so I kind of want to build it in a place that makes sense. I'm gonna stick this here just so I know where I can build my road. Alright, let's build some ranches right here. And these buildings do- oops. God damn it. These buildings do need maintenance. And I can just sell, um, sell the meat if I need to. Probably need another granary as well. That only accepts meat. So let's do that. Okay, and you're only going to accept, uh, meat. Let's build another, um, administration building right here. Perfect. Check how many workers we have left. We have... Almost used all of our workers. Uh, we still have some left. This will help us clear some of our wheat. Unless we need more now. We're actually getting low on wheat. We're gonna be growing a lot of wheat very, very shortly, so I think it's okay. And just in case I need more wheat, which we might now because um, we're using it all for meat. We gotta put a few more farms, just in case. I think I wanna turn off one Abbey. Otherwise, you have too much, too much alcohol. And now I can finally get my utensil shop. Or I think they just sell it from here. And once I get utensils, I'll be fine. Not enough workers in this building. That's fine. Um, should I turn off another abbey? I don't need silk anymore. Alright, so now I have enough. Perfect. I have so many ranchers. 11% unemployment. So I should be able to do it. Oh well, it's fine. Oh, it's because um, when people are farming, I can't... I mean, now I'm pouring more gold. Alright. Well, unfortunately, we can't build any mansions, so it doesn't really matter. Any more copper? Let's import some more copper then. Now let's take a look at our money budget now. We are still losing money currently, but that's all right. Income, total, uh, expenses. Yeah, most of it's just in construction. But in exhortations, we're making quite a bit of money now, so that's good. Awesome, and let's see if we can make any other deals. Is there anything else I can export? Import, export... Nope, not really. This kind of stuff, I'm not sure what that is. I probably have to spend some time figuring that out. Tailor, greenhouse, maybe it's a tailor. That's the case, I should probably start making some clothes and selling that. Oh, nice! I finally upgraded these places to, uh, level 7. Now I need medicine from a herbalist. But I think that'll be it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like. If you'd like to continue supporting this channel, please click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. XRM here, signing out.